Did you need the EpiPen when you saw her for the first time? <laughs> no, I did not need the EpiPen when I saw Josh for the first time. I was excited to see her, but you know, let's quit making this about look, right? Totally. I mean, when you sat down with her, I think I believe you still said that like she was kind of your your number one. In that moment when you were having that conversation with her, was there any regrets going through your mind or did you still feel confident in your decision with Chelsea? No, no there was definitely no regrets. Mm -hmm. But I will say the way she was looking at me and the way she was talking to me, it, it, you know, it definitely brought back some old feelings. And, um, you know, she's, uh, I think, I think we're blowing this, the comment about you're my number one out of the water just a bit. I was only level setting with her, letting her know that the day before proposal day, she was my number one going into that day. But she, um, Cause she she made it this whole deal that I didn't I didn't love her and I didn't I didn't want things to work and I already had a decision made. Yes, did I tell her? Did I not speak my mind fully to not be manipulative to her? I did. I'm not going to tell her something unless I was 100 percent sure. Um, and I didn't tell that to Chelsea just out of default. I told her because that's how I felt in that moment. I realized I found my person, but it took you know a three and a half three and a half hour date with Chelsea to see that. And then on the other side of things before that, which it was a 10 minute date with, with Jess because she walked out on me. Right. The way she handled conflict was not for me. I got a glimpse of what I might have in the future. And I personally don't care if she's the hottest girl in the world. If, if someone's gonna talk down to me and be disrespectful to me, I'm good.